What's up, guys? It is Wednesday, June 19th. June 19th. 2024. We're at the Bitcoin block height of 848,672. TikTok, next block. Uh, the reason why I'm sighing about June 19th, I, I hate this day, man. I promise you I do. Uh, it's because, as you can see from the title, June. Juneteenth. You talking about a scam, guys? First of all, this is Pride Month, quote unquote Pride Month. Remember, this is when we celebrate celebrate the people uh, that sleep with who they want to sleep with. Who cares who somebody sleeps with? It's all it's all a, it's all a psyop, guys. A psychological operation uh, built by uh, the. I can't say, but uh, let's just say it's, it's propagized or propagandized by the mainstream media, the mainstream media and the uh, state, the state sponsored media. So what's the history of, of, of Juneteenth? Well, it happened a long time ago, back in the 1800s. It was called something else. I think it started in uh, Texas or something like that. And now uh, the Democratic Party and uh, Joe Biden, a.k.a. FJB, a.k.a. Let's go, Brandon, a.k.a. the commander in sleep, sleep, a.k.a. the commander or the pretender in chief. Joe Biden, uh, three years ago today, June something, June 19th, maybe 2024, he announced that uh, uh, June, Juneteenth will be a, a national holiday for black people. I can't even I can't even say this video or talk about this without laughing, guys. Man, and you know what's so funny? This is going to be controversial. There's going to be new people on my channel is going to be calling me a sellout and an Uncle Tom and all this other stuff. Because again, the truth and common sense is controversial now in 2024. Again, God, family, country, truth, <laughs> common sense, because it ain't common. And then Bitcoin. My Lord. Let me ask you guys a quick question. Uh, you know, I don't care who you are watching this. The reason I'm laughing because I can just see people just getting pissed off at me, boy. Throwing stuff at the phone, throwing your phone, throwing stuff at the TV. Let me ask you a question. You think Joe Biden cares about black people? Crime Bill Joe, drug Bill Joe. Remember what he did in the 90s? Also talk about segregation and uh, black people like cockroaches. If you don't know the difference between me and Trump or if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. Remember him? That guy. You think he cares about black people? The reason I ask that is because if that's the case, why are uh, quote unquote black neighborhoods or predominantly black neighborhoods so screwed up? Because if he really cared about black people, why is it that the ghettos in America have the most crime and, and murders and drug deal, drug dealing and God knows what else there? Why is it so dirty and messed up down there? And why doesn't Joe Biden go down there and clean it up? in every city in America. Why? Why are all the the blue cities or the blue states with blue areas, meaning Democrat, why are they all messed up if you care so much about black people? How come he didn't give y'all reparations? And yeah, I said it, y'all. And what I mean by y'all, I don't want no reparations. Reparations is the stupidest thing you never do. And again, I'll make, a, I'll make a specific video about reparations. It's just another dumb thing. <clears throat> black History Month is stupid too. I'm all I'm with Morgan Freeman on that. You heard the Morgan Freeman clip. You don't know what I'm talking about. Pause this video. Type in Morgan Freeman Black History Month. That's exactly how I feel. So why is he giving y'all reparations? Why? If he cares about you so much, he only tells y'all that y'all dumb black people that believe that and want it, by the way, because you don't know any better. And I'm not saying that like you're stupid or dumb. I did say dumb. I don't I don't mean it that way. I don't mean to be condescending. Let me let me stop. I, I don't want to talk down on anybody because I love everybody. Black, white, Chinese, I don't care. All lives matter. Black lives matter is stupid too, by the way. Why don't they give you reparations? Because they don't care about you. That's why. They're never you're never gonna get reparations. Let me give you a spoiler alert to the end of this stupid movie that you're watching. You're not gonna get it. Why? Because they have to dangle the carrot in front of you. They gotta make you think that you're gonna get something. I call it the victimhood Olympics. 
2024, we're in a we're in a victimhood Olympics. Now we know who win, wins the uh, Olympics or the victimhood Olympics. One one group of people that you just can't say anything about, and I'm not even gonna think about saying anything about them. But I'll give you, I won't give you people, the untouchable people in this world, right? You know who they are. And if you don't, uh, send me an email, and I'll send you <laughs> and I'll send you the answer, or say talk about it in the comment section. But it's the victimhood Olympics. The the, affin the affinity stones of wokeness. And what are the affinity stones? Uh, black, a woman, gay, uh, trans, anything that goes with the woke agenda that you can identify with that makes you a victim of this evil, evil, uh, white, straight, male, Christian man who is the enemy of the state, by the way. The enemy is the white man. The, the sing the probably married, actually, Christian, uh, straight male they are number enemy number one you ever ask yourself why anyways so they group all these people together on the left and say look i'm a victim you're a victim me i'm a victim i'm a bigger victim you're the victim. i'm oppressed <laughs> these people man and have i ever thought like this uh i watched roots when i was a kid and i used to think man you know and and, and mind you i came up from the 80s i, I grew up with my grandparents and I was raised by the silent generation, grew up with the baby boomers, and I'm a young generation X, right? So I know about racism, like real racism, according to my grandparents, and a little bit with my my dad, my mom, and my uh, aunts and uncles. Have I ever thought I was a victim? No, I went to a segregated school. I mean, integrated school, excuse me. I went to a predominantly white school, more white than the American population is. So black people are about 13% of the population. I probably, my school is probably, you know, it's probably right around that actually, now that I think about it. Uh, Asian population was well, well uh, represented, probably, yeah, about the same, right? So I, my, my high school was right around what America is, now that I really think about that now. Because again, we are the minority guys, uh, if you're a black person or African American or African descent, uh, born in America, uh, we are the minority. Did I ever think I was a victim? No, I don't think so. Did I get angry a little bit at the at the movie Roots? Sure, I did. I did. But to be honest, let me be honest about my experience as a black man in America. Let me let me tell you what it is. Now, some people are going to get mad at me about this, but I'm I'm just going to tell you the truth. Um, first of all, as far as like, can I do anything anybody else can? Of course I can. You know what I mean? I can go anywhere I want. I can get on a plane. I can travel. I can eat any restaurant. My grandparents couldn't do that. My grandparents literally in the South couldn't go certain places. They had segregated bathrooms. They had segregated water fountains. So I didn't, I didn't experience any of that. Now, the anecdotal stuff or the micro aggressions that people feel like. Do I feel like I get uh, treated a little different or systematic racism? Uh, I don't believe in systemic racism at all. I think that's just a myth to keep you victimized and keep you oppressed and keep you on the lower end of not only thinking, but the lower end of the spectrum of uh, where you're at in society. Cause they gotta keep you a victim, man. <clears throat> but my experience is, uh, yeah, I've experienced a little bit of racism. I've, I've been called the N word before in the eighties, a little, a couple times in the nineties too. Um, but uh, nothing that it, you know, you know, made it seem like every white person's racist or something like that. I've had a, a lot of good white friends, man. A lot of them, family members to me. You know what I mean, I don't, I don't look at color. I look at the, the content of people's character, like the great Martin Luther King says. Uh, I'm, I'm just all about that, man. And uh, also, too, as a black man, it's kind of, I kind of feel like I have a, a few advantages, to be honest. I'm, I'm tall. I'm six foot two. Um, you know, I'm kind of the cool guy when I go places. That's just, that's just my personal uh, feeling about it. Because normally, you know. Black people in the, in, in the culture is kind of like a cool culture, sometimes the black culture or whatever, you know, so I, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mixed breed, you know, I can, I can talk that shit, you know, I can talk some Ebonics, I can, you know, so I, I know about the rap music and stuff. And when I go places, I never feel like I'm a victim or I'm oppressed or uh, I'm, I'm getting secretly about to get secretly ganged up on by white people. As, as far as a black man's concerned, again, I can only speak from, from my experience. It's been pretty cool, to be honest, uh, as far as my personal experience goes. But what I don't like, personally, is when I see other black people uh, fall for the PSYOP, is that they're all white people are racist and uh, 
you know, you're oppressed, you're a victim. And again, they, it's the victimhood Olympics, who can win? You know, all these people together on the left with, with, the, with the woke agenda, because that's all it is. Because let, let me say this, Joe Biden doesn't care about you. First of all, Joe Biden even doesn't even know who he is or where he's at. He's just told what to do because he's a puppet. But I'll get into that again in another video about my predictions and stay tuned if you're new. My prediction of why I feel like there will not be an election in 2024. So stay tuned for that. But Juneteenth is a stupid holiday. All it's telling you is just a reminding of a black person. This is what the left does to you guys in the, in the state propaganda media. They're just reminding you that, hey, you're still a victim. You're still oppressed. You know what I mean? We got to remind you that you are special because, you know, systematic racism. And they always got to put that reminder of slavery. Guys, I hate to break, be the bearer of the bad news or break the bad, be the bearer of bad news, excuse me, or break the bad news to you. All cultures and all ethnicities, excuse me, have been uh, slaves. Was it terrible to be, terrible be, be, to be a slave, slave? Absolutely. But I'll say this. Um, am I glad it happened? Do, do I want my people to be enslaved? Of course not. Of course I don't. But if it didn't happen, I probably wouldn't have been born because uh, my mom and dad probably wouldn't even have met. I wouldn't be living and growing up in the greatest country uh, this, this world has ever seen, even though we're kind of screwed up now. But uh, I mean, again, if slavery didn't happen, uh, we wouldn't we wouldn't have this this country the way it is now, man. I'm just saying, so I don't want it to happen, of course, but it happened. There's nothing I can do about it. Of course it was terrible. All slavery is terrible, but I hate to break the news to you again, but there's more slavery today than there was back then. I don't see y'all crying about it now. You don't believe me? Look it up. Look at the sound of freedom. Look at the people coming in and out of our borders. Look at all over the world. There are slavery. There's uh, the three-letter word trafficking. It starts with an S and ends with an X. There's all kind of stuff going on, guys. This is an absolutely evil world. I believe Juneteenth is part of that evilness to keep black people down, victimized, and to keep them to be uh, in an oppressed stage, right? Keep them us against them mentality. It's all about divide and conquer, to divide you away from your neighbor, the white man. <clears throat> they want you to be the enemy of the white man. They want you to be an enemy of the Asian or whoever. They don't want us to all come together because if we all come together and turn off the mainstream media, and say, hey man, despite our color, despite our differences, at the end of the day, we're all the same. Sorry guys. Most of us love God. All of us love fam our family. <laughs> I would say most of us like this country, but uh, I believe you like this country because again, I, I go by, by actions, not words. And if you hate this country so much, why are you here? So you, you're here, so you must like it because you can go anywhere you want. Uh, but trust me, you won't find a better country than this. But look to the things that 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 uh bring us together don't divide man so again i'm not telling anybody not to celebrate juneteenth if you want to celebrate juneteenth celebrate juneteenth you want to watch bet and celebrate june uh, uh black history month and and you want to celebrate juneteenth during the pride month by the way because that's what side you're on by the way if you're on the left you're on the side of transgenders and kids getting taught about sex education uh, you know, trans sex and all this other stuff in elementary school. If that's what you want to do. Hey, it's a free country, but I won't do it. That's the devil's work, man. And I refuse to do it, man. I refuse to do it. So I can go on and on with this video. So I'm going to cut it here. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And again, guys, despite all of the, the nonsense, the lies, the propaganda and the brainwashing, uh, you work hard for your money. And if you took the day off today, cause of Juneteenth, um, uh, boy <laughs> oh, goodness i pray for you man i pray for you uh work keep working hard your your life is finite and you got to do whatever you can to save your money and uh to save your energy and there's only one way to do it it's finite just like your life and just like your time and i think you guys already know what it is it's the best way to save and for me the only way to save and that's bitcoin I love each and every one of you, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace and love, guys.